First of all, this show is amazing. Uh, season one's just about to come out, but I already can't wait for season two to come out because it just <laughs> leaves you with this crazy cliffhanger. Talk to me about how Meyer recruits each one of your characters and why you guys get involved with Meyer. It's interesting because there were, I don't know if you guys remember the early scripts where it was like, they actually showed him recruiting us. Mm. No, what? Oh, that's when I had the scripts before this them. Is, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh I did Tiffany, have the scripts before Tiffany, everybody else. Yes, yeah, she's. A, I'm that person. Um, mm -hmm. but anyway, there were early scripts that had actual scenes of Maya recruiting each of us, oh, and really? you seeing it, but they got cut before we filmed them. Um, and mine, I think I was trying to do something with money at a cash check cashing place, like <laughs> trying to do something dirty. And he just came up to me and was like, okay, you're, you're like kind of right, <laughs> that's, I need this. Whatever you're doing, I need you to do it for me. And I'm like, how much are you gonna pay? <laughs> so that's how he recruits me. That's yeah. the story I was. I believe Joe was uh, working at Offerman Industries and uh, uh, got into a, was you know keeping his head down, working a menial job and got into it with some other guys on the factory line and put them in the hospital. So, Ooh. and then Meyer said, I need that guy, yeah. yeah. And Murray and I uh, knew Meyer in the camps. So, uh, he and he knew what uh, happened to us there and knew that we would be on board if he asked or presumed that we would. Now, Mindy's, Mindy and Murray's faith get kind of tested and they both go in different directions during the course of the show in terms of their faith. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to me a little bit about uh, why they kind of go in different directions without giving any spoilers away? Oh, well, um, something very horrible happened to our son uh, when we went to the camp. And so we started out as young people having the same kind of faith but when this thing happened, Murray was unable to justify how there could be a God uh, who would let such a thing happen. Right. Whereas Mindy maintained her faith, and maybe even more powerfully. And But all that is going to evolve also as the show goes on. Right, right. Because nothing is going to be what you think it's going to be as the show goes on. It's true. It's completely true. Now... Uh, something I find interesting about Joe is that he is almost the reverse of Tra of Travis's character. They're both very brutal at what they do. Um, talk to me about channeling that character, because he does not really take a liking, really, to Jonah. Uh, pretty much, really, at all. <laughs> so uh, talk to me about just channeling some of the things that Joe has to do. Uh, in order to get through the day? In order to get through the day. <laughs> I think it's a struggle for him to just to get out of bed. Yeah, honestly, like uh, he must, uh, he's a guy who has nightmares pretty much every night. So yeah, there's no glee in the violence for him, but it's almost a sense of purpose that he has that Meyer has given him another shot on life. You know, I think if if Joe wasn't given this opportunity, pro he may have ended his, his own life, you know, so. Now Roxy, Besides Jonah, Roxy really does feel like another character's point of view, like an audience point of view character mm -hmm. in a way. Um, can you talk to me if she actually trusts Meyer at all? I think she really does trust Meyer. Um, it's He becomes kind of like a father figure to her a little bit. But definitely gets Roxy. tested towards the end there. Yeah, it gets tested, um, but I think towards the end, you really see how much she believes in Meyer and how much um, his words affect what she decides to do. So, mm -hmm. yeah.